Well, welcome. In this video lecture, we are looking at the book Think Python, How to Think Like a Computer Scientist. We're looking at the second edition. The authors are Alan, Jeffrey, and Chris. I'm going to be doing video lectures. My name is Arthur Solomon. I'm going to be working with you throughout these videos. Thank you. Exercise 2.1, we're going to be looking at a few uh, terms. We're going to be seeing if n equals 42 is legal. What about 42 equals n? We're going to be looking at x equals y equals 1. And again, in some languages, every statement ends with a semicolon. What happens if you put a semicolon at the end of a Python statement? Or question number four, what if you put a period at the end of a statement? And then last is the math notation. You can multiply x and y like this. What happens if you try that in Python? So let's get into Python and let's check it out. All right, so first one is, we know that n can equal 42. That works. Can 42 equal n? No. We already know that variables have to begin with a letter, not a number. So that doesn't work. Can we assign something like x equals y, which equals 1? Yes, we can. Can we define what x and y are? So print x. Nope. Print x. Print y. They both equal 1. We set two variables, x and y, both equal to 1. Next, what happens if we try to end with a semicolon? So print x, we already know works, semicolon. It does work. What if we try to end with a period? Don't like the period. So semicolon works OK, but period it does not. Question five, in math notation, you can multiply x and y by combining them. Can we do that in Python? So let's find out. Let's go ahead, let's do a equals two, b equals three. So print a times b. That is what we want. Can we do print a, B. Doesn't like that. Can we do A, B like that? No. Because they are not defined. A, B is a new character string. It's a new variable. It does not like that in Python. So that are the five questions in exercise 2.1. That concludes this chapter. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out and leave me a comment or a question. I'll try to get those answered as quickly as I can. Again, thank you and I look forward to working with you in later modules.